Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Today I'm taking my friend, my favorite chow hound, to another restaurant. Nice, friendly little place here. Everybody happy. Cute. And it's a nice... Everybody happy. Everybody's happy. You happy? Yes, I'm happy. Good. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a nice, uh, nice size on the inside here. It's uh, taking me to Thai Kitchen Two here in Bridgewater, and we're getting ready to have a nice lunch. And uh, let's see what happens. We have a curry pot, our appetizer, like we also have honey pot, dumplings, house dumpling we have, calamari we have. That's his favorite. One of each, the calamari, calamari, okay. the. Uh, Crab out. Crab out. And a dumpling. Okay. So that's the calamari, eh? Mm -hmm. And that's the spicy sauce? This one shrimp dumpling. Ah, uh, shumai. Okay, we got some shumai there and another salad. Emma has cordially decided she's going to go first on that. And check this out. Mm. Nice. I'm getting ready to try one of these little shumai here. Oh. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's like candy. I'm going to have another one before Danny gets rid of that camera. Mm -hmm. The crab? Don't crab. crab. That's your deep fried crab, and that's the uh, pad thai. Yeah. Shrimp pad thai. This is um, galamad in, the, in their little hot sauce here. Galamad. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats fried fruit that's crispy. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And um, galamad's very tasty. And the sauce is sweet and hot. It doesn't get any better than that. He's doing one of these shumai. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? It just melts in your mouth. These are deep fried soft shell crabs, and I can't wait to get one of those things on my plate. Right, so Dan has uh, got one of these little fried critters on his plate now. And it just goes right in like that, huh? So I've got one of these little fried critters here, and I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to dip it in the the sauce for that. And... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Like you like it. This is the way to go with fried soft shell crab. Definitely deep fry it. Oh yes. And this hot sauce, just wonderful. <laughs> Underneath the crabs was this nice shredded salad with mm -hmm. cashews and beans. Oh, it was wonderful. Really good. Narrowing that down, and we're waiting for the last of the dumplings to come. These are the house dumplings. Sorry. And what's in the house dumplings? Uh, ground pork and shrimp inside. Ah, okay. They look like really big dumplings. Mm -hmm. Look at the and size of these guys. Of these things. They look like matzo balls. Okay, so I'm going down on this dumpling here because these are the house dumplings and I haven't tasted them yet. This is going to be like dessert for our lunch. Oh, pork and shrimp. Two shrimp. Mmm. These are wonderful. These are really very good. I could take a bath in these things. Emma's going to try this one, and this is one of her favorites, and she said I could have the last one. Isn't that sweet? Mmm. Yeah, just like Mother used to make. Mango sticky rice, okay? Okay, so this is the mango, and what's on top of the mango? Coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk. Oh, is that so good? The mango and the sticky rice, and the mango has the coconut cream on top of it, and Emma's going in first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love mango and I love... Oh, that chocolate Second. too. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Yeah, dessert at lunchtime. Isn't that great? A nice idea. <laughs> yeah. Big ball of sticky rice here. And I'm going to put a slab of this fresh mango on it. And into the craw. And the rice is warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. That is really good. When you come here to Thai too, Thai Kitchen too, make sure you get this with dessert because it's the perfect counterbalance to all the spices you're going to be eating.